respond and assist units on the scene. Mike, you guys might as well come on in and we'll just do the door. Police! They're Please. gone! We teach them how to shoot, we teach them how to drive. How many drugs have you used tonight, Eddie? That's like asking uh, how many times you have sex today. We just had a report about a drive-by shooting. Open just an open power and smell of marijuana. Get out, get out. I need a dog man, he's out on foot in the school. He got up after I hit him. Got a couple of 12 gauge shotguns here. Wow. Don't go, you're going to jail. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. Okay, we're just uh, responding now to a call of a uh, possible B and E in progress. Where the point it apparently cornered two suspects that were breaking into a commercial building, loading up some uh, computer equipment. Apparently they have one suspect in custody. Apparently now they have uh, one suspect vehicle fleeing the area, and it's not stopping for another member. Cars heading to Roseberry. One of these males ran into the bushes there, west side of the business Kirby Flowers by the parking lot, heading towards Marine Way. We're going to be 41. What's 44's four, uh, location? Where the guy take off? I don't know. Your guy's over there with one of our guys. That's the last place he was seen. Burnaby 4 1. took off into the bushes and the member uh, tried to stop this vehicle took off from the scene they were too far ahead of so you never saw them actually come in the lane no all i saw them was in between the uh, two houses where they ditched the car there Okay, okay. Please! Please! 
While responding to a beanie uh, in Burnaby, uh, one of our members noticed a uh, Honda Prelude leaving the scene, started chasing it, uh, vehicle failed to stop, uh, chase continued on into Vancouver. Uh, we're now uh, a couple miles into Vancouver, the car ended up uh, bailing out, uh, three occupants got out. Uh, we ended up getting assistance from the Vancouver dog. Uh, got one suspect in custody. We're still looking for two others from the vehicle. Uh, I believe they have one or two in custody at the b &E scene right now. We just received the information on the police radio from our chief dispatcher that Burnaby RCMP were in a pursuit with a vehicle into Vancouver. Uh, attended into the area as best we could, given the fact that we work on different radio channels and don't, are not in direct contact with one another. I got information the car was dumped here at Prince Edward in 49, and uh, getting the information from the actual pursuing member uh, where the suspect was last seen running, uh, tracked uh, through the lanes uh, about a block and a half to two blocks uh, and into a, uh, a hedge area at the front of a house where the suspect was hiding. The dog picked up the scent right away. Uh, once we sorted out from where the police member had run and where the suspect had run, and uh, picked up the track, and once we were on it, the dog went on it right away. It was nice and fresh, so it worked well for the dog. He worked it well, I was happy. He's happy. I didn't want that at one o'clock. I got a big gash in my leg for the dog, too. This is the uh, Beanie site where uh, the chase with the black prelude actually started out of. He came off of uh, Rosemary and up onto uh, Marine Drive and was chased into Vancouver by uh, another member. This is the, uh, the scene of the B&E. Apparently three suspects were in this red uh, Sunbird loading computer, uh, stolen computer components uh, from a business down here. Um, three uh, truck drivers in the area that were unloading their, uh, their load happened to notice this B&E going on. And uh, I guess uh, when the suspects tried to flee the scene, uh, the truck driver uh, took it upon himself to uh, pin the car in and uh, attempt to apprehend the three guys. They managed to uh, scoop one of the suspects and uh, another two uh, suspects took off uh, into the bush area in behind here. Uh, our Burnaby uh, dog man managed to uh, catch both of those suspects. Now we have three in custody from this scene and uh, one from the Black Prelude. So. Uh, I guess it's been a pretty good night so far. Well, you got the guy? We got the, uh, the other car that left out of here. Oh, yeah. Did, did, you, uh, did you get us, in your statements, did you get, get uh, see if these guys noticed the other car? I didn't notice it, but the other guys thought they saw another car. The they mentioned a, a brown, uh, maybe a brown uh, Datsun or something. Yeah. That's what you described it as. Yeah. In the area. It's probably uh, related. It's probably oh, yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. It has to be. Can I move the truck now, or? Yep. Well, I came around the corner with the truck, and uh, this car was parked here with the trunk open, and the doors were wide open, and it looked kind of suspicious, and all of a sudden, these three guys appeared, and they uh, were loading all this stuff in their car. And then I kind of looked beyond the car, and I saw a big hole in the door there, and it's pretty obvious what was going on, so. I just pulled up beside the car and everybody jumped in the car. The two guys jumped in the back seat and 
the driver jump in the front seat. When they started to drive away, well, I just kind of kept crowding them into the building. I wasn't going to let them go, so uh, they kept trying to go a little faster, so I went a little faster, and I gave them a little ram job there, and, and uh, next thing you know, I had them against the building, and, and they weren't going nowhere, so then I jumped out of the truck and went to get some help, and uh, the guys I was working with were uh, just coming around the building there. They heard all the racket. As soon as uh, Bob and Jack came around the corner there, these guys were uh, climbing out through the, uh, the windshield there. The, the driver had broken the front windshield out, and, and he was just climbing out. So Bob, the other guys, they uh, kind of held him, held him up there while I ran, got, uh, got a phone and phoned uh, the police. on our way to a call right now where a, uh, a mother has phoned and describes that her daughter just called about 10 minutes ago uh, at the inner city uh, hotel on uh, Kingsway with regards to uh, some problems that she's having. States that uh, she's possibly being uh, held against her own will. 22 is just up here. Twenty-two is just up here. We haven't determined yet whether it's uh, whether the mother is just phoning because her daughter is just called within the, like the daughter evidently is just called within the last ten minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. And it's unit twenty-two. They're up. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if she's uh, it's a situation where she's being held hostage right now or whether. I think that that's what I got from her that she's being held with a gun in the black male. Okay. Can we talk to the management here? No, we haven't. I just, like I said, I just arrived here on the scene, so that yeah, might be a good idea. To... Let's go check with the... Uh, 22 is just up on the top here. Hello? Are you all by yourself? Okay. Uh -huh. Is everything all right? Yeah, I just want to. Okay, it's clear in here. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Trisha, just relax. The police are here now. What, what can we do for you? I want to go home. I want to go to the airport. And I want to go see my baby. Okay. What's going on? We don't even know what's going on. I don't know. I just got mixed up in a lot of stuff, and then I shouldn't have. And I'm really sorry that I did. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 19. Okay. Okay, where's this guy who's supposed to I don't know. I really don't know. All I know, they come here, they take me out. When they when they want to, they just bring me food, they bring me smokes, and they, get, they give me $5 for, like, when I get hungry, and that's it. That's all I know. Okay, how did, where'd you meet this guy? When I was working on, on the street. Okay, how long have you been doing that? Mm -hmm. Off and on. This is my first time in Vancouver. I did it in Winnipeg and in Montreal. Okay. okay. Have you been assaulted or anything like that? No, I just want to go home. Do you know who okay. this guy is? Are you is? being held here against your will? Not no more. Thank you guys. Well, you were. Sort of. Okay. Your mother uh, explained to us that you've been held against your will. So, is there anybody around here right now that we should be concerned about, or you just want to get the heck out of here I right now? Leave. I want to get out. I just don't want to be here anymore. But I can't find the key to the room. Okay. Wow. Is the room registered to this guy? No, it's under my it's name. Under your name. Okay. What is this guy's name? You have no idea. I have no idea. You I just, just met him when you were the down, man. down here on Kingsway. No, I was up on the high track. Okay. I, they won't tell me their names. All I know is it's the man. I'm supposed to call him the man, and that's it. They okay. Won't tell me. How long have you been down here? Two Thursdays now. Just a couple of days, eh? So do you, what, do you have a plane ticket, or...? Well, my mom said that she'll send me a ticket if I get to the airport. Okay, well, does that mean you have a place to go in the meantime? No. You don't have a place to go in the meantime? No, the airport. That's it. But do you think you're going to get a flight from in the next little while here? That's what she said. I don't know. She okay. just said, get to the airport and, and have an agent call me from there. I'm just a little fuzzy here. I think so. Oh, you mean, like, is this being done against your will? Like, okay. he hasn't been making you stay here. You can stay there of your own free will. Yeah, because I know how the game works, and if they find me, I know I'll get the shit kicked out of me. 
I don't want that. I, I really don't. I came up here with somebody else, and then when I was working, I got bumped, which means they took they they took me. Okay, they called my the guy that I was working for and said, "You can't have her anymore. She's my art, and that's it." And I don't know what to do. I don't know any of this city. I don't know where to go. I didn't. I don't. Want, I didn't want any problems with anything. I just wanted to do my thing. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have a crime to report to us then right now? No. Okay, do, do, you have any, do you have any money with you or anything no, like this? You have I have a dollar, dollar fifty to my name. Okay. okay, so you think if we go to the airport, there's a ticket there for you? Yeah, she told Which me. Which airline? I, I don't know. My mom, my mom said that I was supposed to call her as soon as I get to the airport and or have, it, uh, have a travel agent call her there and I'm going to have a ticket like right away. Okay, why don't you take her down to the office and call the mother? Okay. And see what's going on. Okay. Okay. And we'll go from there. And Sounds if need good. be, you can give it right out to the airport if that's... Okay. It doesn't sound like there's any crime here. No. There's not a... It's not a... Okay. She's not being held against her will, so... Well, you're all right. We're here now and we'll look after you. So do you have, do you have any uh, identification with you? We'll take you down to the uh, police department there and you can give your mom a call and let her know that... Uh, you're in safe hands. That's probably the, the best thing to do. I'm sure she's really worried about you right now. Her mother is phoning from out in uh, Winnipeg. Uh, states that she's uh, gotten herself into a little bit of trouble with regards to uh, prostitution and whatnot. Um, we uh, responded down here to the hotel, and uh, we weren't quite sure if, if possibly the female was being held against her own will. Like When we did attend, the female did come out and indicate to us that she was alone. We uh, searched. The uh, hotel room and everything appeared to be okay. She explained to us that uh, she had just basically gotten mixed up in the, the wrong loop. She's just been out here for a couple of days visiting and uh, uh, she just basically wanted to get home. We're just heading over to a house now. We had a, a report that it's just been broken into. This house is well known to us. Um, some kids used to live there that were very active in uh, beanies, car thefts, that sort of thing. And we had a uh, stolen car there on the day shift uh, that led to a high speed chase. So um, I expect one of the crowd to be uh, there right now. Well, the uh, door has been boarded up from the inside. The neighbors reported that uh, the kids had been in here a few minutes ago. It looks like the place is being used as a bit of a flop house now. The family that used to live here had uh, one son, he's about 13 years old, uh, very active in uh, car thefts in the Surrey area. We've dealt with him a number of times, arrested him. And uh, the family has since moved out, but it seems that all of his friends are using this uh, place as a bit of a flop house now. We were here two days ago on a report of a stolen vehicle in the driveway. On our arrival, the uh, vehicle had just left, but a short time later, one of the members uh, spotted the vehicle, and we had a uh, high-speed chase uh, in which the bad guy lost control of the vehicle and uh, ended up in the ditch, and we caught him after a subsequent short foot chase. And uh, we've had reports from the neighbors that uh, kids are coming and going and using this place all the time. There's, uh, we found stolen property in here uh, the other day, and uh, there's no doubt they're using this as a base for their little uh, criminal operations. When we were in here the other day, we uh, recovered a uh, quantity of stolen property, including a couple of uh, briefcases and purses that have been stolen out of vehicles. You um, can see here again, there's another uh, briefcase that's uh, shown up. Uh, there's all sorts of junk that's been left behind and uh, indications that there's little bits of stolen property that wasn't worth anything to anyone. Uh, the, uh, they have some city signs in here that have been uh, put up on the wall, vandalized. And uh, when we were talking to the owner of the residence the other day, he was here trying to start cleaning up. He was uh, pretty devastated by uh, what he found uh, in the house here. The walls have been smashed up, doors ripped off the hinges. Uh, welfare has been paying the rent for the people here and uh, as I said he was uh, quite taken aback by what he had uh, what he found here he's got a couple hundred thousand dollars invested in this property and uh, you can see how it's been treated when we arrived the other day uh, we found uh, two 14 year old girls here uh, at the residence and uh, they had been staying here with the uh, 19 year old boyfriend of one of them 
And uh, as I said, they were just crashing here. They don't normally live here. One of the girls uh, is a runaway from home. She's been uh, using crack cocaine for a period of time. And uh, we first dealt with her about a month ago when she was involved in a, uh, another high-speed chase in a stolen car with her uh, then boyfriend, who's now in jail. And it was her newest boyfriend uh, who got caught the other day in this uh, stolen car. What are you doing? Uh, we are uh, get the park. Here what? The park. The, the park. The frogs? Yeah. You're catching frogs? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any credentials, any driver's license, uh, ID? Uh, sorry, I, I forgot. Uh, license at home. I, I have insurance number. How do we know who you are then? Uh, You're driving a car. I am. You're supposed to have your driver's license. Oh, I forgot at home. You forgot at home? Yeah. How about you guys? Where do you live? Uh, I live in uh, the Pat Avenue. The Pat Avenue. What? First Avenue. First Avenue in Burnaby? Uh, no, uh, my name is Mo. Uh, and uh, Oh, okay. So you live in Vancouver? Yeah. Okay. Let me see the credentials here. What were you using to catch the frogs? What were you, a net? A hook. A hook? Yeah. Can you show me what you were using? Show me. Are there frogs in here? Yeah. Did you catch these? Yeah. Let me see. Take them out. Take them out, will you? Yeah, take them out of there. Let me see. Holy jeez, look at the size of them. What do you do with them? Eat the legs? Yeah. What do you eat them? Yeah. You eat them? Eat the whole thing or just the legs? No, just the legs. Just the legs. Yeah, just the legs. Oh, look at the size of them. Oh, gee. Okay, have a seat, Terry. I'll be back within a minute. Okay, fellas. Thank you. Have a good dinner with those frogs, eh? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you do with the rest of the frogs? Uh, we are you cut the legs off, and then what do you do with the rest of the frogs? Uh, just, just throw them out, or what? Oh, the frog? Yeah, you 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 eat the legs, but yeah. what do you do with the rest of the frog? Burn it. Burn it. Just yeah. throw it away. Yeah. Yeah. Burn it, and then uh, and then the dust and throw it away. Oh. <laughs> okay, good night. Whose house is this? How's it going? Over on camera, hey, how's it going, Dad? Yeah, I'm looking for a job as an actor. <laughs> no problem, we're just waiting it's in the backyard here, are we? It's Ian's uncle, eh? Hey, how's it going, Dad? <laughs> Burnaby 410 portable. Could you uh, roll another couple of cars here? We got about uh, 30 or 40 kids in the backyard here. Copy 41. Who owns the house here? Who's house here? Anna, come here. She owns her. We'll give you some action. Action's over here. What's, uh, what's going on here? 
What'd you say to me? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna tell you, some of these people gotta leave right now because it's, it's late and they keep a bunch of noise here right now. We already asked Disturbing the neighbors and stuff. Neighbors That's not what we understand here. That's why we call because you guys, the guys are going over there drinking in the oil across the street. Okay. Oh, we didn't know that though. We didn't know that. Stay on this property or what? The thing about it, drinking in the uh, drinking, you can be ticketed for drinking in the open. Do you understand that? Yeah. You can't drink in the open. There's people on the streets here, okay? I'm sure if we start checking some IDs, there's some people that aren't of legal age, okay? So I think it's time to shut it down for the night. We're getting some complaints from your neighbors. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. I know you check with your neighbors, but uh, you know it's getting to be uh, 11.30 at night. People want to go to bed, OK? So it's time to clear uh, some of these people out of here, OK? Because there is a bylaw in, in Burnaby for uh, loud parties and noises, OK? Hey, guys. Hey, 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 listen, I was just going to ask if we get the majority of the people out, but we keep like a selective few in the back, but it's under control. Well, uh, one of the kids are trying, well, fine, but, uh, you know, people want to go to bed. People are usually awake, I thought. Well, yeah, but they're, well, I'll tell you, if I was a neighbor, I would be complaining because I got small kids that got to go to bed early and, uh, we can hear you guys on the middle of the street. There's people drinking on the street. Nobody wants this in their neighborhood. So, well, the problem is, if we bust anyone, we bust everyone, okay? Because I don't know about the inside. Like, I don't think that's true. Well, then uh, maybe you should take it somewhere else. I'm telling you, it's time to shut it down, or we're going to shut it down, okay? So let's get everyone out of here. I mean, if you have a problem with us picking up a bottle, then, you know. It's not the bottles. People want to go to bed. It's it's 11:30 at night. And the neighbors don't want to be listening to this. Well, the neighbors phoned us. Okay, I'm telling you that. So they they obviously are getting. Well, you can hear them yelling right now. We're not gonna. No, we're not putting up with this because you know what? To start with. Shut up. See, there you go. See, Shut up. Anyhow, Shut anyhow, up. No, no. You can tell everybody leave right now, or we will make sure everybody leaves. And if you okay, want to okay, get charged we'll everyone, for it, we'll, we'll tell everyone to leave. Yeah. And okay, we're not going until then. he goes. So you okay. can go tell him to go. The party's over. You're all standing in the backyard. You're all standing out in the front yard. You got a half a dozen beer bottles over here. Okay. The neighbors are complaining. People want to go to sleep. It's 11:30 at night. We show up. We ask you guys to leave. We only ask you a certain amount of times. And if you you start giving us problems, then you get arrested. Okay. Okay. I understand that. But okay. Just continue talking, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever we're at parks and stuff, they tell us go to a house and party. I didn't know that that meant inside the house. Okay. I backyard is fine. I just heard. Okay, there's a party at this house, so I came, right? Right. I came into the backyard. And, and we asked you to leave. Us, they always tell us, yeah. They ask, they, they always tell us, go to a house, okay? Okay. You asked us to leave. First of all, I can't leave because I have to wait for my ride. Well, that's why I'm going to take you home, okay, yeah, Luke? okay, okay. All right, well, we'll discuss it with your parents, okay? My parents, I don't, my parents aren't awake, right? <laughs> well, we'll wake them up. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. I'll just go check in the bunch around the side street. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm just going to run this guy home. The dog was called in uh, basically to disperse the people once it got, they got onto the street. Uh, we find with the dog in the area barking and uh, walking around, people tend to uh, want to get out of the area a lot quicker. Something to swear on the back. Almost sounds like a CD disc that's revving.
It's the police. Police here. Oh, sorry to barge in and intrude. We had a complaint about the noise, and we arrived oh, here. Uh, all across the neighborhood, complaining because the stereo is too loud again. I guess. It's blaring. We could hear it at the end of the block. And there's something wrong with your CD player, because all it was doing was just cycling through and making a lot of noise. You got all your windows wide open and sharing your music with the your neighbors. It's almost 4 o'clock. Jesus Christ, get late. Hey, we were just called to a noise complaint in residential Surrey, uh, where a fellow uh, was partying all evening with his girlfriend and uh, had just a little too much to drink and passed out, leaving his stereo on quite loud. Uh, the complaint came in over an hour and a half ago, but unfortunately, we were very busy and could only attend at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning and he still had the stereo blasting away at that hour, and uh, we had to enter the home to wake him up to turn the stereo off. And uh, he had no concept whatsoever that he was uh, disturbing his neighbors at this hour. We've got a lot of blood here. Yeah, she's done this to herself. Yeah. Lacerated her wrist. What she used? Got Forty Prozac. Okay. Got a kitchen knife for forty. Okay. Check your room, ma'am. Yeah, I'll do that in just a minute. I just want to see how yeah. she, how she's doing. You okay. Okay. Um. How bad are the cuts? She's got a lot of blood here. Them. Looks looks like it was her. Did, were they wrapped when you guys got here? Was EHS already here when you guys Somebody got here? Else Who wrapped it? Uh, Somebody, uh, the security guard. Somebody, she okay. came out. Security guard found it wrapped. Yeah. By the look of the bleed, I would say it's arterial. So she's cut into the. She's yeah. Cut into the artery. Okay. okay. Do we have an ID on her? Uh, we're just. I got a. Somebody gave me this G. Okay. I'll check sure. with the uh, the building uh, guy. I've got a guy going over to going over the room to try and try and get the meds right now so they can go okay. with the uh, with the ambulance crew. Okay. She's um, OD'd on pills as well as slashed her wrist. So you don't want to touch that? So. No, I don't. Thanks. Are you RTO? No. Nope. You need some gloves. Thanks. Um, we've got an acetaminophen bottle. Okay. Um, that's all I found so far. Just let me keep looking here. She Are they going to? Yes, yeah, she does. I'm, I'm going to take a peek in her room in just a sec. Okay. She's got a bunch of money. Okay, that's her. When you cut your wrist, were you by yourself? Okay. And it was you that cut your wrist and nobody else? Okay. And you ingested the pills on your own? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay. Um, I checked uh, her registration. Did you check her room yet? No. That's why I was wondering if you want Okay. This is the that. manager. Yeah. He'll let us into her room. He's a security room. guy. Um, the guy said uh, at the front desk, yeah. City got a call at about 11.30 from her room, from her saying, call me an ambulance. And then all of a sudden, she's down in the front lobby, yeah. dripping blood. Okay. Yeah, that's basically uh, the story we got as well from her. Okay. okay. Sir, can you, um, can you let us into her room? Have you been in her room yet? Yeah. Is there, is... Is there blood all over the room as yeah, well? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, come to the bed sheet, eh? Yeah. And there okay. is uh, over there. Who wrapped her wrist? Was it you that put the cloth around her wrist, or was? No, there was the other lady over there. Oh, okay. Blonde hair. Yeah, okay. Blonde. Good enough. I'm just going to say 
Watch out here in your rear bay with the exposed blood, you guys. Here's the knife she used. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Here's a bill here, Cindy, on the bed. Possibly of what she might have taken. Yeah, actually, she's thrown up a bunch of them already yeah, outside. Their EHS is aware of what she's taken. She took 40 Prozac. They're all... Yeah, I just want to confirm the 100 block on Marine Drive that you're in. I need to Okay, how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, That'd be eight, nine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One, I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to put these in there as well. Um, no, EHS knows what she took, okay. so I'm not, I mean, it's going to have to be cleaned up, but oh, no, we don't need to take them. Okay, we have everything we need. Yeah, um, what I'm going to ask, okay, if you if you wouldn't mind, is for you to um, just gather up her things okay. and keep them at the front desk, and, and uh, either herself or a member of her family will come and retrieve them. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably not tonight, probably sometime tomorrow. So whoever the police is investigating, can I have the card so I can write a report for the management? Yes, oh. yeah, I'll give you my card, okay, no problem you. at all. We were asked to call uh, or attend a call with EHS um, regarding a woman who had uh, slashed her wrist in an apparent suicide attempt. She um, is a resident of Maple Ridge. She checked into a hotel here in Burnaby. Uh, with the intention of uh, attempting suicide, she took a quantity of uh, pills, we believe it was Prozac, as well as um, slashed her wrists uh, with a, a fairly deep gash, uh, with a very large uh, butcher knife, uh, knife of which we found in her room later. She's been taken to hospital. At this point in time, her injuries are not considered life-threatening, but uh, we will be doing some brief follow-up there with her. Okay, what we got here is we're responding to a call where a complainant states that he has been uh, having some problems with some males. Uh, just pepper sprayed the males at his house. And uh, one of the victims has a knife, evidently. Uh, the file is reporting here that uh, EHS has been advised. And uh, one of the males has a 2x4 and they're outside of this complainant's residence. So, uh, tending on this call here. Hi there. Yeah, he's with the gun and was sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys do you guys have any weapons or any knives no, or no, needles no, no, or anything nothing, on you? Nothing, nothing, okay. Nothing. This, this he's me. I have done nothing. Okay, he's tell us what's happened. I, I tell you the story. Come over here. Come over here and talk to me. I tell you the story. This guy uh, this afternoon I have five witnesses, okay? Okay. This guy he got hallucination in his mind. And he used uh, needles and he used coke. Yes. I was cooking for my friend. I brought my friend Golden Buchanan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's uh, sketch. I brought him over here to invite him for a steak dinner. Okay. I got and this, it too. And this guy, I mean, uh, this guy, I mean, uh, uh, this guy, what's his name, uh, Ken, he said, give me a beer. I gave him two beer. I said, it's not my beer. He said, I need eight because this is my, my, my place. I said, excuse me, I am too nice. Yeah. Everybody take advantage of me because I'm too nice. Okay. I'm big, but I'm too nice. Have you been uh, Have you been drinking tonight, sir? No. 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 Been taking any drugs or anything no, like that? No, I have never in my okay. life. Okay. I have. I've been drinking. Why don't Can you uh, Can you just give me sort of like the Reader's Digest version about what happened? Can yeah. you Yeah. Why don't you okay. cut to the chase here and tell me exactly what? This guy. Why did you get sprayed? For, I swear to God, for, I was going to tell him, please be nice. Yes. He said, I'm tough. I'm crazy. And I tell you the story from the beginning. So this guy, he make, he gave me shit for no reason, and he said, give me beer. I said, no, and then he came, became crazy, and he get mad at me. Yes. And then he said, I was cooking with, uh, with a knife. Yes. He said, I will use the knife as threatening. Okay. I said, I'm cooking. I have four witnesses. I can't cook. He said, you can't cook unless 
You gotta have my. Why, why did the, Why did this guy get mad at you? He said you can't you can't cook in my stove. All you right. Have, you, you have with with two guests yeah. with you. Okay. Unless you give me beer. Okay. Yeah. So I was cooking. He said if you cook, I will use the knife as as, as threatening. Yes. I said I'm gonna cook. I don't care. I'm not threatening you. I don't care. He said the cops are stupid. The cops, uh, whatever he said, the cops is, uh, uh, he said, just like my cock and stuff like that. I said, I stupid, I could bring them, I could treat you like shit. I said, okay. So he, he called, he, then he called the cops. Yeah. The cops, he said to me. I live in the Yale Hotel The cops, he said to me. Do you have any uh, identification on you or anything like that? All of my dispensation is stolen. It's, it's, it's stolen. Who stole your identification? Everything was going good in this house. I never met these people in this house in my whole life. Right? Well, why don't you have a seat in the back of my car for now, sure. okay, Weldon? And I got a, and I got a friend here too that's lost here in the he, 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 he kept Don't me. I, I was talking to him. I didn't even okay. Okay. Why don't you come this way with me for the time being? I have we'll just no get choice. you have get no you choice. out of harm's way here for the time no being. I don't have hold over there. Somebody. Is there? This guy he's uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. He he make hallucination, he believes his own hallucination and he gets mad for no reason. Alright. And he's Getting, well, do you do you do you yourself have somewhere else that you can go somewhere else you can stay for the time being because obviously you know the situation isn't uh yeah but this guy don't want him because this guy he might is brave me he wanna no i realize that he took the knife listen he's brave me he took the knife and even can't see uh-huh my friends they wanna help me my other friend he took uh, just uh, he says, uh, i said to him please i have nothing against you you don't have to if you want to fight me as a man fight me when i am looking at you don't blame me okay i was talking to him no nice. mike the question is right now yeah, yeah. the question is right now is we have to take you somewhere yeah. so that you're safe and yeah. you can you can relax rather than being in this type of an environment where you're uh, yeah, where yeah. you're fighting with your roommate do you understand what i'm saying yeah okay but this guy want to charge him because he's blaming me and he he's crazy uh, this guy is okay and this is your roommate yeah he's blaming me yeah he's blaming me this guy he's making trouble with everybody okay so i don't like i don't like i don't like to live with people like okay me. just sit tight for a sec Apparently a third one around here somewhere. I don't, I don't, he's got the two by four or something. This like that. this this fella here, he uh, he gets sprayed by his roommate over an argument over cooking dinner, and uh, he's pretty well, adam he's pretty adamant about pressing charges yeah. against his well, roommate. Well, talk to Mom Marquette because he attended for that matter earlier this evening. He already attended he's earlier. Yeah, Mom Marquette knows what's going on. Well, he's he's got some re recent spray in his eyes. Is Mom Marquette at the scene right in here? That's okay, right let's let's go up he here and have a talk. On. Let's go up here and have a talk and I'm try to sort this way. Okay. Apparently the landlord was here. I don't know. I just got home. He's moving to okay, change door, rooms tomorrow. So there's going to be just as many problems <laughs> over there. So there's, there's not going to be a third time here, eh? I don't think so. Good. For either one of us. But no. maybe tomorrow when he comes back, man. Like he punched out Hollyfield you know in 89. You know? if, if he can. But if he comes back yeah. and you think there's going to be a problem, call us before. See, I don't know that because he goes off to defense. Tell us. Or, no, but I mean, tell us. If you think he's going to... Like, well, when he's he letting him out. He's going to move tomorrow morning. He's going to be yeah, out. I don't know. I don't know. Tomorrow he's going to be out when he, okay, when everything's cool and settles down. If you guys can't face one another, okay, just stay in your room. He's going to move his stuff out when tomorrow, he said. I don't know. What did the landlord say? Yeah, days. tomorrow. Tomorrow. So when he moves his stuff, and if you think there's going to be a problem when he does move his, yeah. moves his stuff, Give us a call. We'll come by and stand. And we'll stand by and keep the peace. Okay. We'll but still, he's going to be a neighbor. But he lives. Yeah. Right. But you know what? Mm -hmm. That's society. That's yeah. life. You know. You don't choose your neighbors. Okay? So would that be kind of trespassing then if he comes over here in this sense, or how would that work? But I mean, if he comes back here, no, he doesn't on this live side. here anymore. Yeah, on this side, he'd be trespassing. If he doesn't live here. Yeah. Anymore, okay. It'd be like he wouldn't be wouldn't be allowed okay. to be here. Perfect. So the, basically, the thing is, is you call us, we'll remove him. Okay. okay? Thank you. No Thank problem. you. Have a good night. See you. Good night. The uh, other con had attended here earlier on in the evening and uh, it's a battle between some roommates uh, they're arguing and fighting over uh, who's gonna cook uh, dinner if you can believe that anyhow uh, it, uh, it appears that uh, one of the uh, roommates was the uh, was the uh, the winner of the uh, little brouhaha and uh, got uh, knocked outside and uh, the uh, the two were told early on, earlier on in the evening to uh, to leave the uh, residence and uh, because of their state of intoxication and whatnot and uh, they, uh, they refuse to do that. So uh, we're gonna give them a place to stay tonight so that they, uh, they sober up and, uh, and uh, cease, uh, cease fighting.